in votazione chi è a favore chi è contro we have no chance unless we turn the issue political chi è a favore chi è contro chi si astiene approvato pongo in votazione insieme alla proposta di risoluzione così modificata For the past eight years, AlterEU has been fighting for lobbying transparency and stronger ethics rules in the EU in order to prevent big business from manipulating lawmaking for its own profit at the expense of European citizens. Areas of AlterEU's work that are important in the fight for data privacy are the demand for a mandatory lobbying register to end lobbying secrecy and shutting the revolving door for employees between EU institutions and private lobbying firms. The battle for data privacy sets digital rights activists against what Commission Vice President Reading describes as some of the most aggressive industry lobbying she has ever witnessed. However, digital rights activists are joining forces and fighting back refusing to accept the drive from big corporations to access our bank details, our medical records, our insurance policies, or even our family photos. Industry influence on European privacy regulation has attracted unseen before amounts of foreign corporate influence on European policy making. Companies like Google, Facebook, eBay, banking and all kind of other industries interfere directly and indirectly through astroturfing organizations. In the lobbying battle uh, around the data privacy rules, you've seen, uh, we've seen all these uh, front groups uh, that have been set up by industry and that are, are really pretending to be something they are not, posing as NGOs and giving uh, misleading messages. That would not be possible if we had a proper mandatory lobby transparency register, then uh, companies would have to disclose everything they do in lobbying, including possible front groups that they're involved in, and uh, the effectiveness of that kind of tactics would just be gone. And I think that's one of the key reasons we need to move to a, to a mandatory register now. Research by European Digital Rights highlights the case of corporate front group the European Privacy Association. Closely linked to US lobby firm DCI Group, it charges corporations €10,000 for membership, which goes towards paying for executive offices near the EU Parliament, numerous parliamentary events for members, the services of a lobbying firm and a well-connected chair. However, European Privacy Association's entry in the Voluntary Transparency Register fails to disclose their corporate members. And their well-connected chair is in fact ex-MEP Karen Rees Jorgensen, now earning a big salary by using her reputation and EU contacts built up whilst in the public service to promote the private interests of big corporations. This is a classic case of the revolving door. Another key tactic employed by big business to weaken data privacy is the writing of amendments for MEPs who then submit them under their own name. Some MEPs, such as Malcolm Harbour, are copy-pasting multiple proposed amendments from the likes of Amazon, Google, eBay or the European Banking Federation, the Brussels-based lobby for all the big banks. To fight back, online tools such as LobbyPlaq are making this information publicly available and easy to understand so we can see exactly which of our elected representatives are propping up the corporate agenda and undermining the basic right to online privacy. 
In the coming months, in the run-up to, to the vote, the most important is that MEPs realize that they are, uh, they are elected to, to stand up for the public interest, to defend the public interest, and that they cannot sell out to, to industry, give in to this pressure by industry uh, lobbyists, um, uh, that this uh, has gone too far. Uh, we've seen all these amendments that have been submitted by MEPs, and now it's really time to think for, uh, for the MEPs which side are they on the public interest or the narrow commercial interest of these companies. All of the safeguards that were planned by the, the Commission are about to be completely destroyed and emptied of their substance by the European Parliament. That is, unless citizens react, organize themselves, get in contact with their representatives and tell them, look, this is our lives online. This is about everything we are, this is about everything we do, and we elect you to protect us. Call your MEPs free of charge and tell them in the upcoming vote not to weaken our fundamental freedom to privacy and data protection via Alter EU's website or directly at privacycampaign.eu.